Next on Good Taste, perk up your work day with luscious lemon wings and freaky good French toast. It's crisp it. on the outside. Oh, whoa. Nice. Then it's eye candy. From the walls to the plate to the lobster rolls. Plus, what a find. Wild West carnitas and grandma's cobbler spiked with tequila. Good day starts right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton. What a view, right? We're coming to you from the rooftop bar at the Fairmont Hotel in downtown San Antonio. Next time you're downtown, we found just the spot. Incredibly fresh coffee and fantastic food. Say sayonara to the suburbs and head to the city. Where San Antonio's coolest coffee clatch has come of age. It's really different from anything else that you would find in San Antonio. It reminds me actually of a place that I love in, in Manhattan. Rosella at the Rand feels like an urban bistro you'd expect to find in New York or LA. With fresh squeezed craft cocktails. That's really refreshing. A classy, craveable menu packed with French flair and breakfast served all day. Oh, and this is a wow. It really is. Yeah. It is one of the premier coffee shops here in downtown. Rosella started a few years ago as a local Java spot, pouring killer coffee and plating up a few light bites. We do our own coffee. We source it and have it roasted in Austin by a roaster, Austin Roasting Company. Now, Rosella has rocketed into an inviting restaurant. If you want to make a deal, or if you want to innovate, or you want to be creative, this is where we have our meetings. These chic downtown digs tucked inside the century-old Rand building are the perfect place to perk up your workday with its custom light fixtures, wraparound booths flooded with natural light, and illuminated gold wall. I know that Tom has spent a lot of time crafting an environment in which people can come and relax and have a great time. She's talking about former San Antonio rocker turned record producer Tom Schleining. I lived in Los Angeles uh, on the West Coast most of my adult life. I ran a record label at Universal for years. Well, so you play in a band too, right? I do, I do. Um, play drums and uh, played music most, most of my whole life, so I've always had a real passion for music. Tom was the drummer for the 70s rock and roll band, Ultra. Our claim to fame was opening for the Sex Pistols. When they uh, went on tour in the U.S., they played a date in San Antonio at Randy's Rodeo, of all places. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, what was it about San Antonio that made you want to settle here? It's where I'm from. It's my hometown. It's always been a great city, but I think now it's it's on the precipice of really going to the another level. And I think it's exciting. It's exciting to be a part of that. What really rocks is Rosella's next level approach to food. Cooked up by chef Devin Galarno. Oh yeah. Like this juicy grass-fed burger, topped with layers of fresh ground sausage, Swiss cheese, and an over easy egg. Feeling a little fancy? Try the boneless sirloin, basted in garlic butter. Bubble up your weekend with Rosella's Sunday Brunch. Cheers. <laughs> starring luscious lemon ricotta blueberry pancakes. Mm. So it's got a nice tartness mm -hmm. to balance out the sweet. Now for the real showstopper, French toast made with conchas. Right, it's crisp it. on the outside. Oh, whoa. Got a nice crunch to it. This so exceeded expectations. That's amazing. The wings are something worth raving about, too. Get the lemon pepper wings drenched in lemon aioli or with their soon-to-be-famous hot sauce. And what makes these hot wings different from... These hot wings are going to be a little bit different and have a lot of different flavor. So right now I'm putting in some garlic powder. In. What makes these bronzed beauties sing is that they're brined before they're baked. We have a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one ratio of salt, sugar, and honey with a lot of water. After marinating in the brine for 24 hours, we bake them off. So it's going to retain so much juice and flavor out of the wings. So it's quite a process. The little wings get a lot of attention before they, they ever hit your plate. They do. Tabasco is the base for the hot sauce. 
That's a lot of Tabasco. And then the goodness of oh yeah, nature sugar, honey. Honey, eat more Texas honey. Got to support the bees. The wings are finished with chives, then plated with house-made pickles, red onions, and a side of homemade ranch for dipping. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, those are good. Super flavorful, mm -hmm. super juicy. You get the honey and the Tabasco in there, and the salt. It's good. So whether it's those truly addictive wings, rich roasted coffee, or that over-the-top concha French toast, come see what's cooking downtown at Rosella. So if no one has checked it out yet, they should really come down. Time to get cooking in your kitchen. We're in the Goya Kitchens with the executive chef, Fernando Desa. And if you love paella, you are absolutely going to adore what we're going to show you right now. That's true. We have a delicious paella. It only made it 27 to 28 minutes. We just won an award. People from Magazine as the best rice milk kit in the market. It's just a very easy kit. We got rice, sugar and rice, with all the ingredients that you need to make the perfect paella. Yeah. Then we have this little can with all the seafood that you need, and then you can enhance it and add all the ingredients that you want. How fun. You can make okay. it your own or just take it right out of the box. All right. So we're going to season the chicken and the shrimp. So we're going to add some olive oil. Okay, how much? Then we're going to add the chicken. And after that, we're going to add the chorizo. We're going to add some shrimp. Now the idea with this, we don't want to overcook the shrimp, so we're just going to saute for a couple of seconds. We're going to add the content of the seafood. Okay. You got the peas, you got the shrimp, got some baby mussels. Then after that, we're going to add the rice that come in a little bag. And all your seasonings are in there as well. And the seasoning, you got the Valencia rice, the short grain rice in there. All right, you're going to mix in so all the flavors are together. You add the water and you're going to let that boil for a couple of minutes. They're gonna cover with aluminum foil and cook for around 27 minutes. It smells amazing. Consistency mm. of the Valencia rice, short grain mm -hmm. rice. So easy to see why People Magazine voted it one of the best grocery store products in the country. That's true, the best rice kit product in the market. So super easy, super delicious. Head to the grocery store. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That paella kit is a cool find. Coming up, mesquite grilled tacos and Brazos bottom pecan pie. It's about as Texas as you can get. But next, seafood soars at this artsy spot where even the restrooms are part of the show. More great Texas eats when we come right back. For more information on San Antonio dining, head to visitsanantonio.com. Cisco, at the heart of food and service. Welcome back. Craving some awesome Austin Eats and excitement? Well, here's the good news. You don't need to go downtown to get it. See what we found in the suburbs. You could say Shore Raw Bar and Grill is Rick Wahlberg's love letter to Austin. This is your first restaurant. First restaurant, absolutely. It's been a, a kind of a lifelong dream in a way. With live music. Star food and eye popping art. Just the kind of eclectic upscale spot you'd expect to find in the capital city. Very Austin chic, I love it. But this trendy eatery is nestled 20 minutes from the hustle and bustle of Austin's booming downtown. We have folks that come in and say that they like to know that they can go a few miles from their house instead of having to drive downtown to get our level of food, and that's a real compliment. Love this place. Close. We live right up the street. Food's great. Like the spectacular seafood towers, sizzling supersized steaks. Absolutely phenomenal. And oh so popular wood grilled oysters. I travel the world and this is by far some of the best oysters that I've had. It's fabulous. Rick spent his youth soaking up Austin's music scene at Antone's, an iconic blues venue, rubbing shoulders with legends like Muddy Waters, John Lee Hooker and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Every picture on this wall essentially tells a story, right? I could probably spend a good part of the uh, week telling you about all the stories behind me. Because all you were involved in so many. I was many involved of them. in so many of them. <laughs> Rick's love of music and art is on full display at Shore. You brought a lot of artistic love into this restaurant. I mean, there's a, a famous 
a well-known guy, artist who's done Yeah, he's a done lot pretty, of, pretty good yeah. for himself, isn't it? Yeah, Todd White is a friend, and he his claim to initial fame was SpongeBob SquarePants. He's just done a great job. He's an awesome dude. When you come here, ask for a tour of the bathrooms. Each bathroom <laughs> right. is themed with his artwork, it's right? It's all themed, yeah. Sounds bizarre, and it is, in the most colorful, fun way. There's a House of Blues bathroom, a girls-themed room, and one with a hidden SpongeBob, a nod to the artist's past. There's even a bathroom to honor Shore's executive chef, Brandon Silver's favorite chefs. Okay, this may be my favorite. I love this. These are the chefs that uh, our, our chef, Brandon, picked out as the most inspiring to him. And of course, Todd provided the chef's artwork. Brandon grew up in Dallas, and those southern roots shine through his food. Our cuisine is like, it's Texas, it's Louisiana, it's Mexico. Try not to be pigeonholed by any one cuisine. But the one thing we want to do is make delicious food. And boy, do they ever. Shore's famous gumbo is chock full of gulf shrimp, lump crab, and smoked sausage. The gumbo is just amazing. The lobster roll is loaded with giant chunks of lobster smothered in lemon aioli. I obviously love the chef because he's my son. Dad's got good reason to be proud. Brandon is a true artist in the kitchen. His whole grilled sea bass is a thing of beauty. I love this dish, it's phenomenal. We're gonna start with the sauce that we base it with. It's called a mojo de ajo sauce. Uh -huh. It's basic. And it's amazing. It's pretty good. It starts with canola oil and a full cup of garlic. That's a lot of garlic going on. Need lots in there. of garlic. We're gonna really cook this real nice and slow. <laughs> Toss in some chili flakes and toasted ancho chili powder. Then cook it low and slow for about an hour. All the flavors come together. It's like I always say, like you want all your ingredients in a hot tub to get to know each other, get warmed up. Yeah, it's awesome. So it's good. It's a party. Baste the fish with that beautiful sauce and grill it over mesquite wood. Serve it up with sensational sides and dig in. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Man, I love that dish. The food is excellent. The service is outstanding. The drinks, pretty much everything. We're obsessed with their show-stopping desserts. Each one truly is a work of art. Like the brown butter cake, soaked in traditional tres leches. Oh, that is nice. The key lime pie with blueberries, meringue sticks, and micro basil is something to behold. Oh, that is so delicious. Artistry seeps into every corner at Shore Raw Bar and Grill. Rick wouldn't have it any other way. When I start talking about the art, they might say, well, what about the food? I say, well, the food is part of the art. It's a kitchen made up of artisans. It truly is. Right? Well, cheers to many more years of success. Thank you. Coming up, spruce up your holiday meal with bubbles in my wine finds. But next, this dance hall dishes up tasty tunes, tempting tacos, and a ton of Texas tradition. It's the best of the West. Next, we'll be right back. We'd love to share good taste. Head to our website at goodtaste.tv where you'll find delicious recipes from top chefs, my latest wine finds, and restaurant recommendations. Plus, you can see all of our episodes right here. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter while you're there. Good Taste with Tangi is brought to you in part by HEB. Kick up your spurs. We're Texas two-stepping our way through Armadillo Palace a bona fide tribute to the Lone Star State. It's about as Texas as you could get. Part restaurant, part dance hall, part legend. I'm telling you, this place is like a Texas museum. <laughs> it is. Yes. There's carne asada with handmade tortillas, spit roasted chicken over blazing hot mesquite, and desserts you'll thank your lucky stars for. Now, there's just something about a Texas pecan pie, right? It all started with the late Jim Good a barbecue pit master with a dream. My father was a commercial graphic artist, and my mother was an elementary school teacher, so it was my father's dream, and, and she decided to stop teaching school and, and um, help him uh, get the restaurant off the ground. That original barbecue joint is still smoking brisket right next door. The Good family also owns a seafood restaurant and a taqueria across the street. It's neat that, you know, sitting here today, 42 years later, and, and right across the street from where it all, where it all started. 
What is it like growing up in this business and then to be able to work side by side with your dad? My father was d definitely my top mentor and, and learned a lot from him and working together uh, in, in my adult life and early career, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You kind of got his work ethic and his ability to take the heat, right? <laughs> That's right. Can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, huh? With a hoppin' dance hall, a bar stocked with 138 kinds of whiskey, and Texas trinkets and trophies around every corner, Armadillo Palace sure stands out. It's really a slice, not only of Americana, but it is just puro Texas, you know? It is, it is. Levi and his dad built memories together, driving around the American West, picking up old Western odds and ends to add to the palace. Everything in, in the space here is all you know, stuff we've personally co collected and, and curated over many, many years. It was in Cody, Wyoming, where they stumbled across their biggest find. While we're kind of driving around the outskirts of town, we look over and this armadillo sitting in the back of this gravel parking lot. And so as we drive by, we see this armadillo, we both look at each other and we're like, man, see that? That iconic armadillo now keeps watch right out front. Levi's favorite find is this century-old Longhorn. It actually hung on the wall um, in this saloon in downtown Waco at the turn of the century. Uh, fight broke out, guns blazing, and this, this Longhorn came uh, off the wall, landed on the piano player and killed him. Oh my God! So the, the nose is still off center. God our, rest his soul! Yeah. <laughs> With guitars signed by Willie and Waylon and a hallowed piano played by the greats, it's easy to get lost in the history. But don't forget what you came for. The buttery redfish on the half shell is a good family standout. For adventurous eaters, the Heritage Pig's Head Carnitas is a showstopper. Everything here has always been really good. That goes for desserts too like the chocolate-soaked Texas sheet cake. That's a really, really good sheet cake, yes. Strawberry tequila cobbler. It's okay, huh? It's fantastic. And Levi's grandmother's famous Brazos bottom pecan pie. It's really good. Your grandma was a good cook. She was. Levi knows his way around the kitchen, too. His carne discada is a time-honored Texas tradition. It's uh, named after uh, a plow disc. They would get these old beat up plow discs and uh, would repurpose them in the, in the cooking over mesquite, hot mesquite fire like we're doing today. Kind of like a cowboy walk. That's exactly right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Roast up some veggies for the salsa. Kind of feels like a modern cowboy cookout. <laughs> then fire up the skirt steak. Crush up the vegetables, then mix in the meat. I'll tell you though, the aromas coming out of that pan are amazing. That discada. Discada. Pack it in a tortilla, and you've got a true taste of Texas. Hold cheers, down. here's cheers. the corny discada. It was really good. Even if you're not a true Texan, you're gonna feel like one at Armadillo Palace. It's anti-chain, it's just who we are, and I really enjoy being able to be in a place to share it with the community. It's the perfect ode to Texas. Thank you. Cheers. Here's to you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. So many good wines and so little time. It's time for my wine finds. Let's start with bubbles. I love a good sparkling any time of year, especially bubbles from France. Good champagne is expensive because of where it's made. So say hello to Cremant. This is the Cremant de la Mure, made near the Champagne region of France, where monks were making this wine back in the 1500s. This sparkler is fabulous to this day and can hold its own to a fine champagne for less than half the price. The Chateau de Villon Cremant de la Mure, love my French, is only $19.98 a bottle. It really is fantastic. Up next, another delightful wine, the Lestoria Chardonnay from the Russian River Valley. This is going to be a great holiday wine. It pairs beautifully. It's balanced with luscious flavors of ripe apples, pears, tropical fruit, you're going to get a hint of vanilla that comes from the oak barrel aging. This wine will go with anything on that holiday table, and it's only $19.98 a bottle, the Trentadue L'Astoria Chardonnay. 
Okay, Cabernet fans, this one's for you. The Amici Vetner's Reserve from Napa Valley. What's not to love about this Cabernet? Layers of big bean cherries, blackberries, a cassis. You're also going to get a hint of vanilla and chocolate on the finish. This wine wins big time scores and deservedly so. It's a special one for a special occasion and it's $39.98 a bottle. As always, I found all my fantastic wines right here at HEB. Ready for a getaway, spa, dinner? Details on how you could win when we come right back. Sign up for our newsletter right now at goodtaste.tv for a chance to win dinner for two at Tribute Restaurant at the Houstonian Hotel. We'll throw in a two night stay and two rejuvenating spa treatments at Trellis Spa. We'd love to hear from you. Follow us on Facebook at Good Taste with Tangi, on Twitter at Tangi Patton, and on Instagram at Good Taste TV. And go to our website to get this week's recipes and sign up for our newsletter. You can do that at goodtaste.tv. That's all our time this week. Have a super weekend, everyone. We'll see you next time. Cheers to Good Taste. Is this the hottest cooking demo you've ever done? Um, it's, it's, it's up there. I don't know if it's the hottest, but it's definitely up there. I think it's about medium rare already before I put it, put it in the fire here. It's cold. I may just pour it on my head. Hottest cooking segment on record.